Okay, so this is going to be my broth for tomorrow. So I have hot boiling water. I add um, the root of cilantro and, um, and celery. I roll some onions and ginger. I roast it in. I put in the broth. I wait until the the um, water boiling and have all that herbs all in together to to soak the herbs and everything into together. And then this small pot is my. I like to cook a little bit separately because I don't want the smell of. Um, how would you say it in English? But in Laos, they would say cow. So I don't want my um, my meat to to cow. I just let it let the hot water soak it, and then I will take it out and then rinse it and put in my broth. The broth I did not add any season yet. I'm gonna add salt because our pot is big. So, one spoon of salt here. See, you don't use MSG, but I use MSG. So, this is like a one, two, three. Three small spoon. I think it's one tablespoon or half. I just have to wait until my um, bone is kind of cooked. Look, not, not overcooked. But as long as there's no red, I want to kill that, you know, the bone flavor just so my broth turn out good. You don't have to overcook it because you're going to put it in the broth. You just want that flavor to be out, the, like the nasty flavor meat. Like you don't want it to be in there. out you don't cook it you just clean the you see how the water is dark because of the meat of the bone some people they don't really do that but I do because I don't, I just like my my broth to taste not cow let me finish that and I add the rest of the bone. Okay, my broth is ready. Let me, and I'm going to rinse the meat that I took out from the broth. Rinse it in warm water. Get all that, uh, the leftover. blood that I'm going to pour in here. Okay, there's still more here. The more bones that have meat, I mean, you can use um, oxtail, but today I don't have oxtail. I just have some bone with some meat on it. See how that extra um, um, blood that I don't want that part to be on my broth. I, I put the my bone to be cooked in the water. A brown like sugar. I mostly use the palm sugar or the um, rock sugar in the broth a little bit. Just one in here. Use um, the chicken flavor. The chicken flavor is just bring a little bit flavor into it. Some people use the beef flavor, but I like the chicken. Then I just let it sit and steam, let it cook, and let it. It takes like hour or some time. You know, it's good to cook overnight. You have all that herbs and all the bone meat and stuff to cook the flavor into it. When I did put the brown sugar, it's make my broth a little bit um, darker.
but some people put black soy sauce, soy sauce. No, I don't do that because that's you want clear broth. Um, you want broth where you can use it as your pho, you can use it as your chukyaki or your pao soy. You know, this kind of broth, you can do anything with it. So my, I'm going to add more bone in here that I have. My pot is, this is size 32, so that's why I'm not, you know, I'm not going to use so much. And I just let it boil up. This is how the star and NS looks like, like this. It's a little bit kind of, um, not like cinnamon, but it's very strong. Like I said, you can put one. Well, I'm just going to put one. One, just to show you guys, like I say, you don't have to if you don't want to, but the more you put, it's too strong. It's to me, when you put too much, it kills that flavor of the broth because of the this herb is strong. So I'm gonna do two, okay? That's it because mostly I don't really use that much on it because um, of my kid, they don't like the smell of it. If you have cinnamons stick you can put cinnamon stick but I'm not gonna use cinnamon stick I already use that brown um, thing that I have so so we just have to wait until that that broth is cooked with the bone and all that season stuff so this is my last meat I'm gonna rinse it like I'm rinsing all that you know the leftover um, blood and stuff so I'm gonna put in here so I'm just gonna wait for all everything to be cooked and let it steam it for hour to two hours so the flavor gets all in together and then when it's all cooked and boiled up and all that some fat of the bone or some that have meat left then we're gonna scoop the um, face of the of the broth where it's all white coming up. But right now, let it. we're gonna let it sit and cook for an hour to two, then we're gonna come back and check it out and to see how we want our All the fat that rise up, you just have to um, take it out the surface. We don't need to have that. This is how I make my um, pho. You see all the fat that we're going to throw that away. We don't need this. Yeah, this is overnight broth. All the bones and the herbs and stuff that is in there. You don't want that, that um, you don't want your water to be a little bit more clear. So you can just have to serve the fat out. Because the fat is from the um, bone meat and that um, some meat that is stuck is with fat. Thank you. Bye.